We're going to warm up really quickly and get straight into it. Hope you guys are having a great day, but I hope this makes your day better. All right, let's warm those feet up and loosen those ankles. Tap those toes. Start to get that little bit faster. And circle those ankles both ways. Get them nice and loose to the shake out. And up leg, tap it out. Push over those knees 
and up on those toes. So remember, don't just skip ahead and do it fast because we've got to focus on the technique and challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to do it slow and don't let those heels drop at all, even though we're going slow. Okay, so you can pause your video and go back and do it with me slow as many times as you would like. You don't have to skip straight forward to the music straight away. Remember, this class can go for as long as you want. It doesn't need to be done in 30 minutes. It doesn't need to be done in 45 minutes. You can spend all afternoon doing it if you want. Okay? Go back, master the step, master the technique, then do it with the music, then add the arms in. You know, don't, don't rush yourself to do it wrong. Take the time and do it right, because the slower you take it now, the easier it will be later on, and then you will be doing it right forever. Okay, so our arms, if we are using the arms, if not, hands are nicely held on to your waist so you can balance. Swing up to your shoulders and down to your legs. Up to your shoulders, down to your legs. Up to your shoulders, down to your legs. So, not a hard arm by any means, but the coordination between the hands and the feet is where it just becomes that little bit trickier. So, there's got to be timing, has to be right for the hands and the feet. So, it has to come through with your leg. They're nice and smooth the whole time. Swinging smooth. Swinging smooth. Okay? All right. But remember, it's okay with your hands and hips. Let's have a go with the music. We are going to do it all together. Um, so I'm going to do it with you. Well, not all together, because it's only just me and you. <laughs> um, but we're going to do it together. And I'm going to leave the music one time, so you can do it without me. Then the third time, I'm going to join back in again so you can do a spot check of arms and timing and things like that. Let's go to music. So when we 
you our brush we're nice and, and grounded on our supporting leg which is the one that's holding us up so bottom back chest forward and just help that a little bit okay so right leg forward over your heel and brush heel shuffle down okay so that's the part that some of us have already done before in previous grades if you tapped before so we add on brush heel shuffle down brush step heel down then the other leg brush heel shuffle down brush step heel down
and try to finish on that line step. Okay, so we're moving on now to exercise number three. Yes, okay, so our step down, brush step, heel down, brush step, heel down, brush step, heel down. Or as we all like to say, step down, brush step down, brush step down, brush step down. <laughs> I thought you would have missed that, so I thought I had to, had to throw it in there so you could hear it. So our step down, brush step heel downs. Remember we do traveling and turning. Okay, so we come across with our step down, brush step heel down, brush step heel down, brush step heel down. Then we turn for one set. Then we travel again, and then we turn. Okay, so first of all, we're going to move over just a little bit. We don't need to move over too far um, because we're just going to do it one set to begin with, and then we'll move right over when we do the whole set. So we do our step, which must be turned out. When we do our down, we're going to rock back. Okay, the reason we want to rock back, remember, is so that we can get a nice big flicking sound, okay? And we're not getting a drag like this. So, step, down, brush, step, heel, down, brush, step, heel, down, brush, step, heel, down. Okay? So, again, Bench, hold on to the kitchen bench, 
hold onto the back of a chair, whatever it may be, I want you to take your time and really get the foundation of this step. Get the pick up because we do pick ups forever. Okay? We start them early with our heel heel and we move on to doubles. Well, now we're doing shuffles, but pick ups go forever. We add something to a pick up. Okay, we add, we add, we add, we add. Okay, we add so many things into pick ups, then we do them turning. Okay, this. Okay, there's so many things that we do with the pick up. So it's really, really important that we get the foundation of the step right first. So let's just take a little bit of time to go back to basics of the pick up first. So you've got your left foot. Now remember we talk about the creases on our tap shoe across here. So I'm going to come a little bit closer so you can see the creases just lifting up the toe of your shoe. So here if my foot's flat. Okay, just the toe. Nothing else, the foot doesn't come off. It's just those toes. And we get those creases in. Okay, so really important, push all of your weight into your heel. And pop those toe up, toes up. Then I want you to stand on one foot while those toes are up. Bend your knees, still pushing hard to feel, feel those toes pressing up, up, up. And then you're going to change feet. Now you'll notice we hear the brush sound. Okay, if we hear this, if we hear this, not a pick up, okay? You have to push into that leg, use the toes, and flick it up so that we can get that sound, okay? It's that beautiful magical sound that makes a pick up a pick up. So, I want you to take your time, go to a bench, and practice that sound. Okay, and so you can get it. Um, it will take a little bit of time, but once you've got it, you'll know the feeling, and then it'll just happen and it'll flow all the time. So, the step that we're doing um, for our pickups is shuffle pickup. All right. So your right leg's up, and we do this one out to the corner. Okay. So shuffle, and this leg is just behind us, and we're going to pull back just like we just did then, and then we do a ball change. Okay, now once you loosen your ankles up and those pickups become a little bit more natural, you'll get a really beautiful sound. You can hear that pickup sound, it's a really, really pretty sound. Okay, um, it's just like magic on the feet. So, really, really push. Go to a bench, a chair, whatever it may be. Hold on to something, okay, the back of the lounge even, and really get that sound in. So I want you to try and do eight in a row, okay? So we're gonna make a game out of it to begin with, and don't try and do eight straight out. If you, if you haven't quite mastered the pickup, that's okay. Okay, I want you to make a game out of it. So once you've made one, okay, then I want you to keep going until you can do two in a row. If you do two, then you miss one, then you've got to start again, okay? You can't move on until you've got them all in a row. So get your three, then get four, then get five. You know, take your time. Over a couple of days, you'll progress to eight quite quickly. And then we have to do the real set. So we have to do our shuffle, pick up, pull, change, shuffle, pick up, Let me do this one, okay? So that you can see that my pick up is actually coming from my toes. All right, so we're trying to get those heels off the ground, which is tricky to begin with, but for those of you who have already mastered it, this part is really important. Get a spotter, get someone to sit behind you with goggle eyes, okay? And check that those heels aren't coming down. Here. So that you can do the pick up from 
on the flat foot. We can't do that, okay? So those of you who have mastered it, find someone to sit behind you and do a little check. Let's have a go with the music. One, 
I mean, it's all 